Yo, welcome back to another, another video, man. The Madden 23 here on the PS2. Now, we done with the preseason days. This is the regular season. The first game against Miami. And you can see overall jumped up two. Accuracy jumped up one. And they still feel like that we need work. They feel like that we are we can't be that franchise guy just yet. I kind of agree with them. But as you can see, the very first game, Jared Goff, we are down big in the first half. At this point, Jared Goff threw an exception. Tua and the Miami Dolphins capitalized on that and Chase Edmonds. And this is Jared Goff's number 108, one touchdown, one interception, eight for 19, going 42 completion percentage. And that's just a week down 20 to seven. The team is in a slump. The offense need a spark. So what did the coaching staff do? They decided to go with the young kid with shot Eubanks. Hey, first and 10, we down 20 to seven. Very first snap of his professional regular season. This is what Jared Goff cannot do. This kid using his legs, man. Let's see if he can spark something up, man. We all know he got the athletic ability. Can he actually throw the ball? You want to get this team uplifted? Because we all know the Detroit Lions is, is that team, man. Is, is they not a winning pro. They not a winning team. Let me say, Jameis Winston, three catches, 42 yards. And we just, the coaching staff want to see if they can just rejuvenate what this kid is really made of. This is when it counts, man. Rashad Eubanks hitting, hitting the tight end right there. Hey, first and goal. Let's see if they can capitalize and so, bro. This team, bro. <laughs> He's take Joe, this team down the field. Can he tie this ball game up? Can we take the lead? This is not a preseason. He recognized that one-on-one -on -one coverage, and what did he do? He just threw as far as he can to Jamison Williams and touchdown. Now, after back-to-back -back successful touchdown drive, you think the Detroit Lions coaching staff would lead the young kid in, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. They brought Jared Goff back in, thinking that he would be the savior, and yeah, it didn't happen. Chase Adams was pretty much the dagger, and they ended up winning 34 to 20. Yes. If you ask me why they put Jared Goff back in, your guess is as good as mine. He finished at 190, one passing touchdown, one interception. But Rashad Eubanks showed promise. Three for three, 83 yards, one touchdown, added 29 yards on the ground. You could pretty much say that this kid is has a future of being the Detroit Lions franchise quarterback, if you ask me. Now, leading and coming to the, the following week against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, we all know the Falcons got a young defense, a young, fast defense at that. If not one of the best cornerbacks, young cornerbacks in the NFL, A.J. Terrell. So, we had to be on our P's and Q's, especially in practice. In practice, we just do what we do. Everybody know what, what this Rashad kid can do with his legs. Coaching staff wanted to see what he can do throwing the ball. And he took up that challenge. Just shedding and slicing and dicing up the starting defense. He also did it with his legs. And that's something that Jared Goff simply just cannot do. So the coaching staff had a big decision on their hands. Do they start the veteran or do they start the young kid? Now, as I say in practice, this kid was just showing up and showing out. And the big question remains for the Detroit Lions organization and the coaching staff. Do they start their veteran, Jared Goff, or they get this... Alabama State rookie quarterback Rashad Eubanks a chance to lead this offense. So next episode, we shall find out. Let me know what y'all think. Stay tuned. It's your boy CR8. And I'm gone. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.